Hey guys, this is George. I'm going to be doing a review of an app called Perfect Browser for the iPad. It's this app right here. And this is just an alternative browser to Safari from the iPad. So, um, as you might already know by using Safari, you know that Safari doesn't have many features and many other options than just searching website. Um, so, what, so uh, what Perfect Browser brings to the table is the ability to open many tabs, more than nine, like on Safari. And also you can uh, go full screen, you can uh, import bookmarks from uh, your, your, your computer. So for example, here I'm gonna, I'm gonna close all these down and I'm going to show you a few features it has. So first I'm going to go to a website called gizmodo.com There it is. And I'm going to open engadget.com Okay, so here we have both pages loading uh, loaded. Here you can see Gizmodo and Engadget. And you can see they look like if you open them on a web browser on your desktop computer. Um, but a few features it has, well first of all is that you can go full screen. So you only see the iPads bar with information, and you can uh, browse the website however you want to. You have the two uh, triangles right here to go to the to the font, to the forward page and to the back page. Uh, here you can press that button and return return to normal. So you can open a new tab if you want. So while you're in full screen, you can press this blue triangle right there. And you can see your open tabs to switch between tabs and not have a big uh, bar right here. Um, another feature that it has is that you can import bookmarks. So if you open the bookmarks pay, uh, tab, um, you can see right here import. And the, uh, the way you do that is that you, uh, you connect your iPad to iTunes and uh, you drag a bookmark backup file. To, uh, to the app inside the apps tab on your uh, device. Um, then if you're on a website you can open it in Safari, you can set it as a home page, you can print the website and mail the link uh, or add it as a bookmark. Um, you can increase or decrease the font size so that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, let's increase. So here we increase the, the website's font size. And you can see every text is much bigger, except a few of them which are like embedded on the website. But text like this, for example, you can see it's very big now, and it's not the the usual uh, font size you see on on Engadget. So if we, if we press that button, you go back to normal. So this is what it looks like. Uh, we have uh, this ability to put a scroll bar in the right. So if you have a website that's very long and you don't want to go with your finger up and down all the way you can just use the scroll bar if you want to jump all the way to the end just go to the end with your finger and you just uh, scroll with your finger like this and it's much uh, much more efficient uh, you can enable private mode, that's a cool feature um, and then we have a few settings right here if you want to, for example, do uh, finger gestures or um, just general features uh, let's see, and another feature that it has is that you can press that button and search inside the website. So, for example, if I want to search um, Android, let's see if something comes up. So, uh, the search has been done and the results have been highlighted. So, let's see, here we can see Android highlighted. Android, let's see, Android right there. Android, Android. So the app is pretty cool. Um, uh, I pretty, I really like this app, even though I don't use it as my default web browser. Um, even though it has many more features in Safari, I still use Safari because I like the user interface. I like the the graphics and stuff. Um, but uh, you know, it's a very cool web browser to have mo many tabs open. You can open. Uh, more than nine, obviously, if you are a heavy uh, uh, brow, uh, user on your iPad and the app just crashed. So that's a basic in, um, overview of the app. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to buy it, I'll put a download link in the description. 
And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter for updates on real time. And thank you for watching. Goodbye, guys.